Jerry of the circus. For Jerry of the circus. What do you want? It's me, the major. Oh, oh, just a minute, major. Well, well, this is an unexpected surprise. Come right in, major. I'm always glad to see you. You know that. Huh. You won't be this time. My, but you're cross this afternoon. And I've got reason to be. That's why I came to see you about it's me. Now, what have I got to do now, with it? Now, don't play innocent. It's about Carmen, and you know all about it. Well, but, well I don't know what you're talking about, major. Now, like fun, you don't. You needn't put on that act for me. You're a jealous woman and you'd go any lengths to... Now you can't talk to me like this. Oh, can't I, though? You haven't any proof. Ah, so you admit it, huh? I certainly don't admit anything. You'd do anything to make me ridiculous in the eyes of the woman I love. Oh, so you do love her. Well, I admire her very much. I... That's beside the point. You tried to make me ridiculous. I never did. You did, too. Sending her that ridiculous bouquet. What? That bouquet made up of vegetables and right in front of the whole troop, too. What are you talking about? Listen, bearded lady or no bearded lady, you can't pull the wool over my eyes. The minute I mentioned common, you acted guilty. But don't think you can laugh yourself out of this. But I, I really well, I may be small, but I'm far from dumb. And something else, my fine bearded friend. What? what about these notes you've been sending to the Spanish senorita? What? what? Yeah, so, I guess that makes you stop for a minute. Why, oh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Supposing you explain how some of that fine rice paper of yours happened to find its way into Carmen's wagon. Some of that lovely rice paper you are so foolishly fond of. What rice paper? You remember you gave Jerry's dog Rag some candy and a must paper paper? I suppose it wasn't good enough to use for common. All mussed up like that. But I never threatened her, really. I... Ha! Go! How did you know she was threatened? I caught you, huh? Why, you said she was threatened. I'm sure you did. Oh, no. I only said she was getting notes. But you know what was in them far better than I do. You just admitted it. You... Oh, you cheat. I'll get even with you for this. I'm not afraid of a beard. No matter what's behind it. And let me tell you something, my fine lady. You're going to get some more of that fine rice paper, and you're going to write another note to Carmen. No, I won't. Oh, I... yes, you will. Now hurry up with it. Uh -huh. So, you're not even smart enough to hide the paper on which you write such dangerous notes. Here it is. Come on. Here's a pen. I won't. You want me to go to Mr. Randall with this information? No, 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 please. Please, Major. I'm sorry. Oh. I... All ready now. Now write. Miss Carmen Bandini. The notes you have been receiving... Not so fast. Uh, been receiving? ...have been sent in jest, period. Uh, how, how do you spell jest? J-E-S-T. There is no danger. I guess that covers it pretty well. Now, add this. You are being protected by a brave man, period. Uh, uh, protected by a brave man. P-E-R-I-O. Oh, don't spell out period, silly. Just put a dot. No, I do everything wrong. I just wish I were no, dead. Now, look.
look. You're crying all over the note. Here, I'll take it and see that Carmen gets it. The idea, frightening a poor, innocent girl. And as for you and the bouquet, I'll get even with you if it's the last thing I do. No, but I didn't. Not the bouquet. Making me ridiculous before my friends. I'll make you so ridiculous. You, you, <laughs> you just wait. Ah, oh, these women. Bah. Well, hello there, Rags. What do you want? Oh, what do you suppose Rags want? Oh, it's you too, Jerry, huh? Hey, Major. Yes, Jerry? Have you found out for sure yet whether the bearded lady had anything to do with those notes written to Carmen? Now, listen here, Jerry. You stop worrying your head about that. I'm taking charge of this case from now on. But I've got to find out. If there's something I can do to protect Carmen, I've I got to do it. I know, I know. But from now on, I'll be making it my business to revenge the beautiful little Spanish lady. But if something should happen... It won't, I promise you. You just leave this whole thing to me until tomorrow. And if it's not settled by then, well, we'll have to do something about it. But I just got a hunch. What about? Mm, that's some pretty unusual things that's going to be happening on this lot before tomorrow. Gee, you kind of make me curious. Mm, well, it's sometimes just as well for boys not to be too curious. Now, listen, Jerry, I want you to do something for me. Well, what is it? Uh, I want you to go over to Clara at the wardrobe tent and get her to lend you, uh, you know, a pair, a pair of her big scissors. What for? Now, don't ask any questions. I need them, and, you know, I don't get along with Clara very well. And why go over and borrow them myself? Well, sure, Major. I'll be glad to. I'm supposed to go over for a fitting or something anyhow. Come on, Rags, let's go. A fitting? <laughs> what for? Gee, I, I thought you knew. Yes, I've been telling most everybody on the lot. I'm going to work El Mundo. Oh, yes, of course. I forgot all about that. Sure, and I'm going to have a big, shiny hat and leather boots and a velvet coat... And, and everything. Oh, say, that's just fine, Jerry. You ought to look pretty good in all that finery. Well, I don't know about that, but it's sure going to be fun to get up and dress and everything and go out into the ring with everyone applauding and put El Mundo through his tricks. Say, I, I have to learn Spanish and everything. Oh, of course. So the elephant will understand you, huh? Yep. Well, here's the wardrobe top. I'd better go in. Say, uh, sure you don't want to come along with me? And talk to Clara? I should say not. That woman riles me something awful. Okay. I won't be long. I guess she's only got to take my measurements. Come on, Rags. In you go. <laughs> I'll be waiting right out here in the backyard. But, but remember, Jerry, don't you tell her what you want those scissors for. <laughs> How can I? I don't know myself. No, no. I, I, I mean, don't tell her they're for me. She's so mean she wouldn't give them to you then. You and your fight. Rags. You're quick. Hi there, Clara. Well, now, if it ain't Jerry Dugan, it's about time you got over here at the wardrobe top. I was beginning to think I'd have to cut your costume out without you. Could you do that? Well, I guess I could, but it mightn't fit so good. I'm sure glad I got here in time, then. What size shoes do you wear, Jerry? Oh, about six and a half, I guess. Guess. Well, the last time I got shoes, I got sixes. Of course, I've grown some since then. Now, then, just think of that. Well, guess we'll order sevens, then. Can't have you growing out first thing of a pair of those shiny black riding boots. Not when they're so expensive. Riding boots? Oh, gee whiz. Here, Jerry, for goodness sakes, hold still. You're jiggling around like a like a Mexican jumping bean. Oh, I'm sorry. Man, now, got your arm measurement. Now, your waist measurement. Say, Clary, you know it was just as easy riding on that elephant's back. He sure jounces up and down, though. Land sakes, he can't be any worse than you are. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Clara. Honest, I am. Now then, just keep your shirt on till I get the right size of your collar. You mean I gotta take my shirt off? No, I mean stand still, not oh. get so excited. There. Now, I guess that's it. I'm sure glad that's over with. You got nothing on me. I'd as soon measure a needle or an angle worm. I must say I'm not looking forward to fitting you. <laughs> well, I'll be better next time, Clara. Oh, say, uh... Would you mind lending me those scissors of yours for a little while? I certainly would. I use these myself. They're my favorite pair. Oh, you got any others I could well, borrow? what do you want them for? Well, I just need them. If boys aren't the ones now, what with their secrets and all? I guess I got no pair you can have. Now, just where'd I put them? Oh, gee, thanks, Clara. You're swell. My, my, here they are right under my eyes. Seems like I'm getting more absent-minded every day. I'll be careful of them, Clara. Mind you, bring them back. Sure, I'll remember, Clara. Now, where the dickens is a major gone to, Ray? <laughs> oh, there you are, Major. <laughs> did you get him? Of course I did. Oh, say, that's real nice of you, Jerry. 
I'll get them right back to you. You better, or Clara will sure raise the roof. Hey, where are you heading for now? Well, I guess I'll be going back to my wagon or thereabouts. We'll go part way with you. Got to go by the office wagon and see Mr. Randall a minute anyway. Yeah, good. Then I got to get back to rehearsal. Pronto. Pronto? Sure. <laughs> I'm practicing my Spanish, too. Oh. You know, I find myself just naturally saying the words. It's lots of fun. I think I'll learn to really talk Spanish. I wish I could talk Spanish. It'd be pretty nice to be able to talk to the lovely Senorita Carmen in her own language. Yeah. And, you know, you never can tell when it'll come in handy either. Oh, you're a pretty lucky boy to have her show you some of the routines she used to do with that new elephant. I'll say. She can't be there all the time, but she's sure nice to do it. Mm-hmm. Goodness, what's that? Hmm, it sounds like... Huh. Just what I thought. Why, it's coming from the bearded lady's wagon. She's left her door open. She certainly has. Well, I guess I better go up and close it. She'll be disturbing the whole circus lot. <laughs> I shouldn't wonder. Gee, she certainly can snore, can't she? Sounds like a trumpet or something. Well, we gotta go this way. Come on, right. Yeah, see you later. Both of you. See ya. Don't forget to bring back Clara's scissors when you're through. No, I won't. But I gotta get some important business with these scissors done myself first. Isn't that just like her to leave the door wide open? Cried herself to sleep, that's what she did. Hmm. Well, can't imagine anything more convenient than that. Not if I managed it myself. Lucky she's making so much noise. Doggone these wooden floors. Now, she just won't wake up till I give her the trimming that she needs. I'll get even with her for once in my life. Oh. Hmm. There. I guess that does it. Hmm. I sure hope she likes herself without that beard of hers. Guess I got rid of that all right, all right. Now, if I can just get out and close that door. Oh! Gee, I... Phew. That did it. I didn't even have time to pick up those scissors. That sure is bad luck. I just got to get those scissors. Help! Help! Murder! Help! I've been robbed! Oh, say, she's awake. She, she must have found out her beard's got off. I better get out of here and quick. <laughs> 